Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. Behind me I have the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. This is a laser engraver or cutter. It's a 40 watt diode machine. Now Creality has asked that I do a project with this laser instead of just doing a basic unboxing and overview. And so the project that I have chosen to do today is build a box that hangs on my French cleat wall. I have these little gaskets that I use in my product and I want to be able to store these in a place that's easy to get to. And so what I'm going to do is build out a box that will hang on the wall and allow me to put these in there and get to them nice and quick. So let's go ahead and do just a basic run around the laser here. You'll watch me design on Lightburn and then we will see this machine cut out my product and we will uh, hopefully get this on the wall in this video. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump to it. This is the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. It's a laser engraver that has a 40 watt diode laser. As you can see in here, there is the laser module and it has an enclosure that's built in. So I simply grab this lid and can close this up. I don't have to have an external enclosure to vent the smoke out of my building. So as far as the features go, you can see this nice big bed. It's over 17 inches, which is very handy to have. It's got air assist built in. You can see the tubes over here, and that is controlled and powered by the laser over here. I can just turn a knob and it will adjust the air assist that's coming out. It's got a nice fan here on the back to take the smoke out of my building. Now over here, there is a switch for the fan. On this side, there is a light. It's got an emergency stop, keys to lock this unit down. The uh, USB for the computer is there, power. It's also got the on off switch and this unit comes with a camera as you can see right up here. Now you can also do a little bit here on the front you can frame a project, you can home, you can do uh, jogging, and also if you have a uh, card in here, you can press play and do the job over and over again very quickly. The assembly was pretty easy. I had to build the top, which was separate from the bottom, and then get it all placed in there. The uh, sheets were a little bit weak whenever they weren't all together. But once the unit is together, then the uh, whole thing seems to be pretty solid. It does come with a gauge, as so you can see what thickness uh, for focus. And it also has some safety goggles, and it did come with its own uh, tube, as you can see right here, for exhausting that uh, fumes. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to Lightburn real quick, and I will design my project. Then we'll use some Baltic Birch quarter inch plywood as you can see right here, and we will make our box. I'm still a beginner when it comes to building in Lightburn, but I've decided to use a five by five box, and you'll see there is a triangular piece, and that triangle is gonna be what attaches to my French cleat wall. And so when I put this box together, it'll have the four sides, and I'll have to cut out the base or the bottom of the box on a different piece of quarter inch plywood. I could only fit four squares on this single sheet. I have a sheet of Baltic birch plywood. It's quarter inch thick. I'm gonna place this here into the laser. All right, go ahead and turn this unit on by the power switch over here. It's gonna run through a couple of setup tests here. The air assist is on, and I've got it maxed out over here. If you look on the laser module, it says air assist, there is no fire, and the lens is clean. So before I can do any engraving, I need to take my little uh, focusing stair step here. Turn this down for just a bit. It's just a bit loud there. All right, so this right here will go on the material, and there are two thumb screws up under here. I need to loosen those up pick the laser up and then set it on the correct one here. So I am using this middle one. So let's go ahead and turn that to the side. Set this down here. All right, that should be good. 
Lock those in place. You can remove that stair step. Okay. Focus should be good. Now it's gonna be very important that I place the laser close to the edge over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now, uh, I've already got my exhaust over here, so I'm not gonna turn on the fan. However, I am gonna turn on the light so we can see what's going on in here. And that will give us a bit of light to work with. And let's find this right here. If I turn the air assist on. Looks like we have plenty of room in here. Let me slide that over just enough to make sure we're well within our material. Now I need to make sure that my air vent is turned on. I've turned off the lights here. Let's go ahead and press play and get this job underway. if that was sufficient to get this done here. I'm gonna hold this where it is, lift up, looking pretty good. All right, move the laser out of the way. Nice, smooth, clean cut. That's the way we like to see it. So hopefully these will fit together. Let's give it a try and, and make sure. This will be the front. This is one of the sides. So hopefully that fits together there. Very nice. And then this will go over here on this side. Now I am realizing that I've made a mistake here. I don't have anything for the bottom to attach to. Oh well, we can at least get this test done here. There we go. So that's the basic box that the unisil or the rubber gaskets will fit into. And I think that size is gonna be good. I can reach in there and get them out. And then uh, the back will be able to attach to the French cleat. So now I just have to redesign so that there is something for the bottom to attach to. The new box design is looking good. I've added a spot for the base down here. And that is what is currently being cut out as we speak. Being a 40 watt laser module, this is moving rather quickly. I'm really enjoying that compared to what I'm used to with a 20 watt laser. I like to give the exhaust a moment to pull the rest out of the building. All right, let's see how I did with this base. I also wanted to check to see how much soot is gonna come off of here. A little bit, not too bad though. I've definitely seen worse charring. All right, let's see how I did with this. Of course, once I put wood glue on this, it should be nice and strong. Haha, <laughs> nice. It's always good when your box comes together, huh? All right, let's go over here and glue this up real quick. I'm going to use some wood glue to attach everything on this box, and I've also got some clamps here. This is the first real project I've done here on the Creality Falcon 2 Pro, and I have to say, it did remarkably well. I wound up cutting at six millimeters per second, 85% power, and it had no problems cutting through. So for instance, here's my cut out here. Very smooth, no tearing, no problems on the back. Um, so I'm very pleased with the way it did that with the quarter inch Baltic birch plywood. All right, let's go ahead and shut down the laser here. So I've got the LED light on this side and then if I look down here, there is the power button. 
go ahead and get that turned off. Okay, so my initial thoughts on this laser, it's nice. The 40 watt certainly cuts through that plywood with ease and it's a smooth cut. And uh, yes, yeah, so far, no problems whatsoever. Let's take these clamps off of here and see how well it looks. I like it, really nice. Probably could use a little sanding there on the front, but uh, I think it's ready. Let's take this up to my French cleat wall, hang it on the wall and see if it holds my uh, rubber gaskets well. On the wall I have some slats with a 45 degree cut into them against the wall. And if you'll notice, the box I just built has the opposite 45, and that allows it to sit there against the wall, nice and snug. And so then I have all of these rubber grommets, and those will just fit inside of that box. And I think it'll be easy enough for me to reach in there and get those out. Whenever I need one, just reach in, and there we go. And now I can easily see how much I have left in there before I need to order those. I actually have to make uh, three more sizes of this. I can line them all up and know exactly what's in there. So, very cool. Creality sent this laser to me to test out and I think it has performed quite well. I'm used to using 20 watt lasers and now with this 40 watt laser, there is a big difference. I definitely would not want to go back to 20 watt if I'm looking for speed in cutting. Now this did engrave just fine as well. I will be posting another video soon comparing this to one of my other lasers here in the studio space. But I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's nice to have my little box hanging on the wall holding some of my parts. And uh, that's just one very quick example of what you can do with a laser like this. Be sure to check out the links in the description down below so you can learn more about the laser or pick up one for your very own. I'm Seth with Land the House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.